need you. Love, 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 Shika babies. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, the 12 o'clock hour stands for so many things. And while it is a reminder that the days have gone, it is a time for the unraveling of mysteries in the imaginary world of motion pictures and state plays for you, our lovely audience. Yes, noon, midnight, lunch, our whole hints that it is not <laughs> over yet as it means a great time to start. And what else are we starting if not going on some dramatic action and adventure? Speaking of adventures, today is National Ride to Wind Day, which makes it an excellent opportunity to marvel at all things flying and perhaps take part in some flying yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Unfortunately, OJ cannot partake in that because his private jet is not here yet. So OJ will be on the ground today. I'm um, still weeping about... Um, <coughs> <laughs> they are, yes, they are lost. They're lost because uh, yeah. OJ is such a sore loser. And so he cannot even appreciate, he cannot even appreciate people who are winning. And then that is some complex for me. It is the audacity for me. OJ is for you to still be able yes. to have some ah. sharp mouth and be saying nonsense. I don't care where you are. They better cut this clip and dash you so that you can be crying to sleep tonight. Because you know what? When I see you face to face, OJ, I am talking to you. When I see you face to face, when we shall see face to... Oh. Okay. okay. Wow, all right. So uh, since I've gone and uh, opened the floodgates of heaven... Madre. With that said, East Splash is definitely that two-hour movie that always ends on a high note, sugar rush, and even happy endings. Whatever genre you think it should be, we leave it up to you to decide. Welcome to Movies Tuesday! <laughs> With a sprinkle of Chelsea violence, if I had my hat. <laughs> All right, guys, it is your girl Dala, a.k.a. the goddess of skills. Some of you call me the goddess, or Dala la 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting, like to, I'm still waiting to get to my own. I don't know what song I'll sing when I say uh, my no, name. No, don't sing. Actually, All right, ladies and gentlemen, you already know what time it is. Your boy, j Paul, Mr. Flames, the freshest kid on the block, the man with the fire. You already know what time it is. Let's get it. Cheers! Is, is how, is how J-Paul <laughs> Loki still brought flour on his shirt on the show? <laughs> you know the vibe, baby. You Mr. know the vibe. Flowers. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you hope you're right here at your girlfriend next door. It is the jewel in the crown. It is honey pink. It is honey flavor. What's your flavor? Tell, Tell me, me what's, what's your, your flavor. flavor. Ooh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? You can run with anyone you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, today. You can call me Venus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're feeling so pumped. Uh, that's why we've got lined up for you today. Stories making waves in the entertainment world. And of course, celebrity birthday shout out. Uh, want to know what happened in entertainment history today? Well, <laughs> you can cut that and rewind also. We will then be finding out who we've got on Where Are They Now? While Dala will be bringing us today's dose of social media craziness only on social view. That's right. And still to come on the second half of the show is the Chew It Off segment. Then we will be having the news recap. While on today's Daily Top 5, we will be talking about five Nollywood actors that got their names from a movie character. Aha. Uh -huh. Tuesdays can only mean one thing. As we will be telling you all about the movies and TV shows we recently watch or currently watching. And we still have some Thing special for you today yes. but you know what hey, hey. we're keeping it under the wraps okay but then the show is open yes let's get it oh that music if Samson have done it to worship no. song j -Paul, what's the problem j -Paul, is everything fine because i saw you jumping like a monkey around in the middle of the <laughs> night yesterday when i may not say more than that but then what have you been up to i saw you on sunday um. i saw you were jumping like a monkey <laughs> I mean, you on the story. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, I, I was actually jumping. I don't know about it. So you can't come to work and be saying, raise your hand and praise the Lord. And no, you can't. I was having fun. Yesterday we okay. had fun. Um, I, I was at Obi's house, DJ Obi's house. Yeah. And so, like, lots of celebrities. I, was I, know. There, I saw you. Olami J. You know, I was just having fun. I saw you. You know, like a laugh of the party. I actually saw you. At some point, I didn't know, and I was shouting, woo! Mm. You're not came here to be doing revival. It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, it's really not your fault. They are the disguise. 
But it's all right. All right, guys, it is now time for the entertainment news and to kick off our news stories today, some good news right here. Idris Abdul Karim undergoes successful surgery. Veteran Nigerian rapper Idris Abdul Karim will be back on his feet soon as the kidney surgery he recently underwent was a success. This was revealed via statements issued by Mike Pam on behalf of his management, La Cream Entertainment. The management also thanked the wife of the veteran rapper, Yetunde, for donating her kidney to save her husband's life, as well as the followers of the music star for their prayers and support. The statement reads, and I quote, It is with unspeakable joy and undiluted thanksgiving that the management of La Cream Entertainment officially releases the news of the successful kidney transplant surgery on Nigerian hip-hop star, Caesar and activist uh, Idris Abdul Karim, and his most gracious donor, his loving wife, dedicated YT. Um, some hours ago, and our unalloyed thanks and appreciation go out to all well-meaning Nigerians, both at home and in the diaspora, and all his fans from across the globe who prayed for, cared for, reached out to, and supported this wonderful couple during this health crisis. May your individual and collective wells never run dry as the recuperation and healing process begins for both of them with the best that science can offer under the ever benevolent gaze of the almighty God surrounded by the love and care of family. We ask that the prayers and support be sustained as they gradually get back on their feet again. Ending the statement, he wrote, and I continue, in conclusion, we must emphasize the fact that Nigerians are indeed at the peak of the pack when the need arises. We as a people are simply awesome. All that we need is good and purposeful governance. Indeed, our God is good all the time. God bless us all, end of quote. If you would recall, we reported last month that Idris Abdul Karim was suffering from a kidney ailment that required surgery. The rapper via his Instagram page then solicited support and prayers from well-meaning Nigerians to fund his kidney transplant surgery. Oh, wow. this is such a good news. Yeah. We are so elated. We're so pumped. So we love this news. And uh, we pray that the recovery will just be permanent. Let me just yeah. be an African for yeah. once. Hey, Amen! It's not you're supposed to be dancing that you're dancing now. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Um... Shout out to his wife because I mean yeah. what she did is actually very brave. You yeah. took out a kidney to give to your husband. Yeah. Uh, can I do it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Actually, but then it's just it's, it's just crazy how both of them will not be recovering at the same time. Yeah. So I'm like, you guys are probably side by side and just like, oh, you get well soon, you to get well soon. <laughs> it's just cute. It'll be so nice to have Idris Abdul Karim back. Um he's he's a he's a Big shot in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Absolutely love to see this. Yeah, it's, that's it's right. It's great news for the entertainment <laughs> industry um, because we know that we've lost a couple of people yeah. um, to kidney issues and all that in recent times that has passed. Mm. So for us to have him go through a successful surgery, we also pray that he, you know, there's no relapse of any kind and he yeah. is... We know, really do pray yes. that there won't be any relapse. Yeah. And I love the fact that they are taking us through the whole process. Yeah. And, uh, well, we wish him a quick recovery. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, let's get back to the news. Top Gun Maverick surpasses Marvel's Avengers at the box office. Tom Cruise's new movie Top Gun Maverick has continued to break records since its box office release in May this year. Another fit this sequel has is that it has earned $679 million in North America, making it the sixth highest grossing film of all time at the domestic box office. What this means is that the movie Top Gun Maverick has now knocked Marvel's Avengers Infinity War to the seventh position after it earned $678.8 million in 2018. According to Forbes, Top Gun Maverick has earned $1.37 billion globally and this is expected to gross $5.44 million this weekend to take it to a new total of $683 million. And if that eventually happens, the movie will be getting closer to Black Panther, with, which earned $700.4 million in 2018. Top Gun Maverick is a 2022 American action drama, which is the sequel to the 1986 film Top Gun, starring Tom Cruise, who plays Pete Mitchell, who after more than 30 years of service as one of Navy's top aviators, he is where he belongs, pushing the envelope as a courageous test pilot and dodging the advancement in Iraq that would ground him.
Oh, uh, have you seen this movie? I, I haven't seen it. I don't, oh. think, I don't think it's my type of movie. So, oh, wow. It could just be but me. But Chris is so high. Fun, fun fact. Yeah. I'm not really a Tom Cruise fan. Ah. Not, right? Well, yeah, so we like the cool. Mission Impossibles and the rest, I wasn't really like, Feeling yeah. Oh, yes, wow. I'm not really a Tom Cruise fan. <laughs> me but too. I watched what? the movie yesterday. OK. Then I realized that I have a shirt of the movie today. Wow. <laughs> Like, you well, did not even realize. I didn't know. I've oh been wearing that shirt for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So, the movie is quite good. Oh. Quite amazing. I like the story. Um, the action sequence is amazing. Uh, how they were able to shoot in the sky and make us feel like we're actually pilots, too. Because you watch the movie and the pilot is flying. You and then you're feel... doing it. You're moving, too. Yes. Oh, I love that. Like, it's really yeah. nice. Like, the action sequence is good. The camera and Tom Cruise put in a great act. Um... Fun fact is that it's also my movie for today that I'm reviewing. You're talking about. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. Yeah, so wait for that. Yeah, so and, it's also, and it's also uh, fascinating that today is also about, like, flights. Oh. So, yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. okay, so it's like falling Everything in is in sync. Yeah. Yes, yes yeah. it definitely no. is. Mm. But Tom Cruise, I still don't know about this. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, I don't I, know. I felt that way, too. Uh, yeah, but when there, I watched the movie. It can be movie. never say never. Like, there are some times that there will be some exceptions. Like um, Yeah, and, uh, like, when people made me go and watch, what was that? We don't no, talk no, about no. Bruno. No, no don't Let's, do that. Say, don't do that. Quick question. Don't do that. Different strokes for different Has Tom right Cruise right? ever won an Oscar? In fact, anybody knows? Because I know uh, Leonardo DiCaprio does so, one. So, um, I wouldn't know because they can be very funny. The other day, we were talking about hmm. somebody People who has that's won, having, yeah. like um, EGOT, and then we're talking about Jamie Foxx, yeah, who yeah. has actually done every yes. damn thing. Plus and, sing. And we could not <laughs> even still yeah. uh, find uh, that. And then I was wondering, are they blind? Can't they see? <laughs> Like, yeah. When you say so I play, I just remember Ray Charles. Oh, wow. Jamie. So, Ray Charles, yeah, look at that. That was a, <laughs> wow, that was a wonderful that. performance. That was, what? Yeah. That, that was what? good. That was good. Like, that should have won it. Stellar performance. Game. What? That should have won it. Like, why? <clears throat> oh, well, I'll probably see it. Let me wait for your, uh, both of you are currently watching today. If you, can, if you can inspire me, I might check it out. Yes, you should, actually. All right, you thank you. <laughs> all right, that is all we can take on the entertainment news. It is now time for Celebrity Birthday shout out. In alphabetical order, today's celebrants are the following people. Posthumous birthday shout out goes to Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was an American professional basketball player. He spent his entire 20-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers in the National Basketball Association, NBA. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He would have been 44 today. Oh, wow. We celebrate uh, Kobe Bryant because what? Still, like, we, we, can't, we can't even still get over, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, how he died with his daughter. And, uh, well, we celebrate him. Yeah, we definitely do. I mean, Kobe Bryant was one of the reasons why I started watching basketball to even mm, begin with. Mm. And, still, uh, still yeah. Feels like he hasn't gone. Yeah. Still feels like he's there. Yeah. I still don't believe it. Kai. All right. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Pushumo's <laughs> birthday to him. Birthday we also too. have Rookie Sanders, who is 38 today. She is a Nigerian actress, film producer, and director. She began her acting career in 2004 while she was still a student at the University, uh, Lagos State University, and continued after graduation in 2007. She has since featured in several Nollywood movies. Rookie Sander. Happy One of the birthday five. To like, her. She's so fine. She didn't tell your SRB. Close them, close them, close them, close them, close them. just close them. You get why? Yeah. You get why? You get why? I want to know why. Why I don't feel Luca? You want Luca? Yeah, Luca, no. Okay. Hey, Call at me. your own. <laughs> 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 because when they don't want you, like, no. You get why? Happy birthday. You know, you my <laughs> Happy birthday to uh, J. Paul's uh, sudden crush. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> moving on, we have Scott Khan, who is 46 today. The American actor, writer, director, photographer, and former rapper has acted in several films such as Enemy of the State, Gone in 60 Seconds, American Outlaws, Oceans 12, Oceans 13, amongst many others. 
He also starred as Detective Surgeon Danny Danu Williams in the CBS television series Hawaii 5 0 from 2010 to 2020, and also a recurring role as manager Scott Levine in the HBO television series Entourage from 2009 to 2011. Oh. Scott Khan. Yeah, so it's, it's the rap career for me. Like, <laughs> just, it was very um, unexpected. Well, I definitely love to see him in Hawaii 5 0, uh, Oceans 12 13. Yeah, I think that's my kind of that's my kind of vibe. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Because I don't understand this thing that you're doing. What's it? Nothing, love. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fun. We also have Tony Umez, who is 58 today. <laughs> He is a Nigerian actor, producer, and director known for his romantic roles in movies, <laughs> as many often refer to him as a Nollywood lover boy. He has acted in several Nollywood films of both English and Yoruba languages since his debut in 1994. Darling! Darling! <laughs> Darling. Darling. You know, when I saw the Nollywood lover boy, lover boy. I felt like, yo, bro, we, we need to talk, man. Like, yo. That's where you want to be going now. <laughs> <laughs> Is, why is j Paul here? <laughs> it was in the movie I spoke about last week. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that? Yeah, lockdown. yeah, lockdown. 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 Yeah. I liked his role. In fact, in, yes. in the movie, I thought they could have made him a character that, you know, does go psycho. Because yeah. And then just starts doing crazy things. Yeah, but, but, but more... then I really like it. It stood yeah. out. Yeah, like, yeah, it was, it was like an impossible... I was feeling it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. how somebody who has something, somebody to take care of yeah. uh, over home, yeah. and then yeah. the person has terminal disease, and then the person is locked down here. Oh. Yeah. Well, hello. How do you explain that? It was great. <laughs> All right, happy birthday to him. We also have Yo, 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 who is a year older today. Steve Onu, popularly known as Yo, is a comedian, on-air personality, actor, MC, and all-round entertainer. Yo, yo, yo! Oh. Yo, yo! Yo, yo, yo! Happy birthday! Oh, you, my yo. word! I, I absolutely love Yo. Yo yeah. uh, is such a personality. Actually, like when you, actually. Like, when you know him in real life, like, forget actually. that you see, see. The energy is, like, yes. ten times worse. Lovely. Like, what? <laughs> Lovely human. And the funny <laughs> thing is, you, you, they've been in the industry for a long time. So long. So long. They're like the pillars of the industry right mm -hmm. now. So, big up to you, your, give us the address, make we show. You still have energy. <laughs> no problem. It's I, the I, energy I you. for me. You can party it all week, right? It, it's the way I will soon love yes. Jay Paul during the week. So that <laughs> we can your life will be him. straight. Mm, if not. I bust, I bust that like say, Alpha, you're coming out tomorrow. You told me, actually. You will not kill me in this life. <laughs> well, happy birthday to every single person who is celebrating today. We send you love. We send you light. We hope that you have a very good birthday today. We know it's also the end of the month, so Sakwa Fee just... End of the month, Nick. What day? You understand? It's almost... We're almost. speaking in faith. Okay, or oh, some people have already paid salaries. No, no, no. It's, so we know that money never come, but still try and <laughs> okay. enjoy. Okay. You understand? All right. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. So let's go straight to the time machine on Rewind, where we'll get a quick history lesson on what happened in the world of entertainment on this very day. Let's go. Watch, 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 watch. watch this. Let's rewind. On this day in 1946, The Big Slip, directed by Howard Hawks and starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, premieres. And in 1963, The Beatles released the single She Loves You in the UK. Finally, in 1994, Jeff Buckley releases his album Grace, featuring his cover of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. <laughs> it's only bots laughing. Only bots. What was the problem? Explain your. I did something, so I thought people caught me. So wow, that explains it. So if you caught me, it's okay. Uh, okay. All right. Sorry. I'll go and check back. Oh, that was Leah, actually. Actually. By the way. Actually. All right. And that's the first time I'm seeing that video. Are you serious? Actually, first time. Oh, do first you time know that I think song. Leah has a lot to offer? <sighs> so, I was just telling her, I was like, is yeah. that the girl that DM yeah, yeah. yes. signed? Yes. I don't know anything about her. Like, I have no even. She was here. A um, couple months ago. Yeah. And um, 
she was pretty good. Like, you know, some people, when you interview them, you're like, oh my gosh, because when it comes to interview, mm. you know, that skill, sometimes mm. it is not only about the interviewer, it's about of the course. interviewee. <laughs> If you get what I'm saying, <laughs> but I would not go into that training. You have to pay for me to give you that training. <laughs> Meanwhile, it is time for where are they now? Let's find out who's been missing in action. It's where they now. I'll be Edozie. Obi Edozier is a Nigerian actress and film producer who made a Nollywood debut in 1997 with the movie Love and Be Cherished, where she played a supporting role. However, she got her first lead role in her third movie. She starred in a couple of movies in which she mostly played raunchy and naughty roles, some of which include Abuja Connection, Supremacy, Jealous Lover, Blindfold, Bronze, Crime Planner, amongst others. Gone are the days when you want a man deep down inside you and you pretend as if you don't want him. If you want a man, you go for him. In the late 2000s, she appeared less on screen till she finally disappeared. It was later discovered that she went off the radar shortly after her wedding to veteran musician Alex O. crashed in 2017 to focus on her family and movie production. Want to know what she's up to? Obi Edozie is a full-time movie producer who acts once in a while. Look at you, look at you. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, what, what kind of embarrassment is this? Who is to, who is Henry? I was on my own. Henry came to toast him. Did I force him? Look at this fool. Look at this fool. Coming to fight me. Now you live in this kind of double living lifestyle. Before it was Tony and now Henry. <laughs> Hold it, two of you, if you go on your own, go on your own. Don't, don't say I talk, I, I talk nonsense. Do you hear me? Go, 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 go. Now you know where they are now. I saw my Saturday already. Is where J. Paul has turned it to? Of course. Mm. Yo. Now, now. We just got Summer here, that bro. is almost over. Oh, uh, OK, sorry. Please, is it <laughs> all right? Because <laughs> one is giving me I see I enter vibes. No. <laughs> It's, it's splash. Okay. And it is time for Social Veil. We are about to dive into the social media space, and it is filled with all the humor and savagery you can think of. Only part already started uh, during the break, but let's not go there. I'm intoxicated. With what? Colors. Yeah, I think everybody's uh, just splashing red, pink, blue. Yeah, yeah, man. Mm, yeah. All right, you are doing well. Um, so these three people cannot simply comprehend what has been written here. They said, when you find out that your mom once dated Bill Gates, but later broke up with him because he cheated on her, I don't understand. You don't understand that what? Why would she break up with him? Is it just why not? is it not just cheating? Why not? So you're like, mom, why? Of all people, how? Don't even tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Like... So what if she was going to be getting a stick in the company <laughs> from the breakup? No, oh, wow. it's just dating. No, 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 that, no See, so, I thought you knew so, better. So let me tell you. I thought you knew better. No, so let me tell you. <laughs> It is not even in every relationship that they have a stake in whatever thing you have. But when you're married to that person, it is for life. See, eh? Not having interest. Personally, I would just be emailing Bill Gates every day. I would have been your son, sir. Mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you once dated my mother. <laughs> so that would be our title on the email. I, you once dated my mother. <laughs> I would have been. Yes, no. You're a chef. Okay, Paul, you bring me shame. <laughs> Premium shame. Uh, I think this happens to every single person. Finish eating and go and bring your. No, that food. Yeah. So they say, finish well. eating and go and bring your results. Oh, you just brought memories. You now sit down in front of your food like this, but no, the food don't you don't hook you no, because no, you, you just. Oh God, oh see, God, I don't. Now I understand remember. it from your father's point of view because when you see the child eating food, man, eating as if there's finish. no tomorrow, or you finish that food. Let me see your result. I'm paying for. It's even me, them asking me to go and bring my school notes and all that, and you know how you got zero over, <laughs> over ten. <laughs> quick, quick question, um, not truth or dare, just truth. How many people altered their results? No, I couldn't have. You? No, bro. I was no, you couldn't. Student. I got do that. ace, man. <laughs> dollar, dollar. You did? <laughs> did you go to print another? Let's be going. And <laughs> uh, you know, say, Mom, see, they watch this show. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
Yeah, no, my, no, my aunt was up because I was asking questions. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, I get you. Um, they said, Honey, close your mouth. What sort of you? Honey, close your mouth. Are you? Honey, close your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> close, close up. Dala is not a role model. Oh. Please. Did I she, write a role model on my forehead? Please, don't <laughs> even make a if mistake. If you pick me, it means you love me. Ah. As I am. Yeah, I know get tipex that year. Okay, uh, <coughs> no, no, that blade. You go use blade, you go scrape the paper, you go come light, so that place come. All right, they said quarrel, we're going to lead to, I can feed you for one year. Uh, I need them. I beg. In case you help me, see, just, you know, you Yes, know, so like, all those people will say, if they quarrel, if they quarrel with them, let's say, say, who are you? I can feed you I for one year. Um, I can pay uh, your school, stay home. I can pay your salary, yeah, please. I'm even looking for... Who is going to say that to me so that I can like, cook moving with you? <laughs> no, but the cruise is you not now say yes, I know you. Just say no, you can't. How much do you have? <laughs> you just bring and store you bad. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be fighting with you every day. I Me swear. that I have that strength. <laughs> wow. Somebody's wrong with their strength. <laughs> yes, it's because okay. of money. It's okay. <laughs> Um, so this one is saying, I say make I go collect recommended glasses, then say 50k. What in I want to see where your bad men never show me? Ah! So why like, are you like this? They are sweet your bad men. No? You say? They are very sweet I'm and yet, faithful your bad men. I'm yet to It is not even about gender yeah. right now. So stop uh, generalizing. Stop the stereotype thingy. <laughs> I mean. So did you just call Jay Paul's come? Oh, no, no, no. I'm a Calabar boy. I'm fine. What does that even mean? Oh no no no! What, whatever whatever you heard about Calabar I'll, boys, I will look for true. I will look for one for you. Right All now. the rumors you heard. What about size of your shoe? Forty-five. I learned that Calabar men wear it as um, you know like yeah. thirty-seven. No, 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 they have no, no, no. short yeah, the range. Like yeah, different range. thirty-seven. <laughs> My guy said they are different range. Uh, okay, let me be going because I don't have glasses I, to see this chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, this one is saying, shout out to my neighbors that pretend not to hear me scream at my kids. Your silence is louder. I don't know. Wow. It's concern me, concern your screaming. Eh, like, so you know that they said that it's a community that brings up a child, you know, those kind. But me, I go, they shout, you go, oh, look up. Well, now you're picking now. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't really help. But, <clears throat> but I don't know how I feel about somebody else screaming at my child. You calm down. It depends no, it's, on that person, not... and it depends on the reason. On the reason, mm -hmm. but okay, just so... first, explain to me. Like, let's know that we're cool with me. Yeah, you know. That thing, eh, you have to balance it because you cannot actually train your child by yourself. They ask because <laughs> there are times mm. that you will not be there, mm. and you cannot say, oh. Mm. Be, be, you have to balance it. Trisha. Mm. All right. Nasha community will raise me. Now I did like this. <laughs> um, they say, <laughs> dear silent followers, are you naturally silent or is uh, English the problem? Okay. So this is this is like fun fact. I've been on Twitter since 2009. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? I was basically one of those ghost guys that just, I'm just reading. I'm always on Twitter most of the time if I'm opening an app, but I'm never writing. Okay, so twice. what me I would never understand was something happened to me twice last week. Mm. How you see my post and you are not dropping any comments and then you come to whatsapp and you say oh very nice photo you look so gorgeous <laughs> right, you are good <laughs> did you why didn't you like it why, why you did think you i don't want section? that comments in my comment section on instagram you left the whole app and then you came to me to come and tell me that oh that was gorgeous really yeah maybe he's shy understand. so what do you to tell him do you tell him uh -uh. i trust you he's a shy person i trust you is it shy? He's shy. That energy, <laughs> take it back to IG. I'm going to put that. Well, that's, that's just funny. No, 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 what's even funnier baby. is that... Ah, what's what's funny? No, what's funnier is that the same picture, they will not inbox it to you and then write the comments in your inbox. You get... It's the you, same you thing. Watch my, you watch my content on... Or you see something on IG and I say, go on YouTube. And then you now come on my WhatsApp and say, oh, wow, that was a very nice conversation. Good topic. Me, I don't Please. Say, that energy. Let me take it to YouTube. I need it. Go and paste it. Rubbish. Uh, so, last bonds in the mud. Uh, he said, no matter what you do in this life, don't ever send last bonds to cook when they are angry because what is... What this. is this? What is this? It's like rice pepper soup with a, <sighs> with a singular 
Boy, Heg. Ah. I don't even know what this. The person park water. I'll beat you. So I will beat you, <laughs> and as I'm beating you, you are cooking another one, and I'm standing there with you. Your head will correct by force. Like really? Uh, this is wicked. I don't know. Why I feel like this is what all these Gen Z are cooking in Big Brother House now because. Did you even see like, one skit? No, it wasn't a skit. It was a clip actually for of what happened. Somebody was saying that um, their um, bro his, um, our brother cooked this. He wasted the whole food in the UK. He said he fried chicken, he did this, it was tasteless. The mother was just shouting, you used the whole of this. And then when they ended the whole thing, it was packing everything into the dustbin. Again. Like after it was wasting food. Oh, well. Me, I remember I said that yeah, I go to vex, <coughs> but the, I go stitch up inside the food. So I just do away. Uh -huh. But I mean, I passed through this stage. Uh... Sorry? You did this? No, no. Like, see, as a chef. Right. You see? What <laughs> chef? Right on, right on, right on, right on. As a chef, mm -hmm. um, you have to pass through um, the first phase of cooking. You know, you have to experiment. Do you understand? So you did this. So, so this is called pepper rice, rice, egg, pepper soup. No, this is not rice. This is actually noodles, pepper soup. You know, with, with a touch of egg, boiled egg on top. All right. It's, it's the touch <laughs> of boiled egg. I'll stop taking you seriously, Jeff. It's the touch of boiled egg. This is how I feel about your boiled egg. Let me, let, me, let me adjust my wig. <laughs> so, uh, here saying, me telling my new guy my favorite colors, flowers, and how many siblings I have for the 6,999th time this year. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I, study, I study a man that pays attention. Like, I need you to remember things about me. Yeah, and I don't think it's asking for too much. Why are you looking at me like this? Let me be quiet. It's the way you're saying it. I'm just saying. It's like... Your it's gender coming, doesn't remember... It's coming from your... No, your though. gender doesn't remember a lot of things. Like... I will move oh, on. no, but... They can't keep track. I always say that... Because I always keep in track with, like, 10 girls. So, it's like, your birthday was when again? Yeah, so here's the thing. If a guy truly likes a girl... Mm. You won't forget stuff. You won't forget stuff. So... It tells yeah. you that's some red flag for yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so why was I on my own? You came to meet me. What's the problem? Who came to meet you? You said? <laughs> no, now, it's if a guy truly likes a girl. So the guy has come to meet you to say, I like you, but you don't remember anything. So I don't like you. So what are you saying? Um, so what I'm saying is that, you know, there are players. There are the guys who just come there and come and play. Okay. And there are the guys who actually like you. So when they come to you, you would know when a guy truly likes you for something serious. And when a guy just wants to, you know, play around with you. All right, guys, stay yeah. tuned uh, to TVC um, for J. Paul's uh, relationship, relationship show, <laughs> which I'll be starting next week yes. at night. Yes, <laughs> yeah, next week at night. Yeah, so we need to talk about giving you, like, one of those, like, so you just come yeah. and meet me. Ah, oh, well, nice Casting your gender, just that they will have problem with you. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, never yeah. watch. <laughs> All right, guys. See, we'll never watch. Wow. Time check. First hour of the show is done. But still to come, we have Chewing Off, the Entertainment News Recap, Daily Top 5. What are you watching? Stick around, guys. All right, all right. Thanks for staying with us. In case you're just joining us, this is the second half of the show, and we're so ready to keep you more entertained right about now. It is time to chew it up. Time for one of us to let us know what's bothering her. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we begin? Her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to throw you a question. Is speaking loudly in public an individual right or it's a public nuisance? Wow. wow. Um, so, I think they said it's freedom of speech and expression. So that's <laughs> as, like long, in the outside. as long as you're not breaking any laws, and right? They don't break laws, they para. Because. Hello, Tabia! And you're just like. Oh. Because when you speak loudly in public, actually, when you're in public, you do not expect to have the kind of comfort you have in your home. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so. I'm just thinking, so when you're there and then you're receiving phone calls and you're shouting and you just don't have some social grace, some social etiquette. <sighs> okay, so the problem I have is I, I really do not like when people don't know how to behave at certain places. Mm. I think those are the things they taught us. Like mm. those things were taught in school or somehow, I don't know, or at home too. Mm. You know how... Two adults are talking and then you just come and you're looking at them, you're looking at their mouth or you're, mm -hmm. you get into their conversation mm -hmm. and they your, par you. your parents calls you out, uh, mm -hmm. your parents call you out yeah. and they say, no, when 
to adults or adults are talking. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to, be, because they have not called you into the conversation. So I think that there are things that we should learn as we, and it is very pathetic when it is now an adult mm -hmm. doing it. I see so many things that are so disgusting. Mm. Adults begging for food. Like, okay, maybe. How do I explain? Let me shift because only puts one stone person to. All right, so <laughs> you have gone to a restaurant, maybe at a place of work, and maybe uh, somebody enters and the person says, um, Dala, I like this, your meat too. They enter your <laughs> Give me. And Dala says, um, Oh, let me give you my, my uh, an answer like me. <laughs> Darling, I bought it to eat. So and you can't have the it. The person stays there and the says, mm. Yeah. The person does not know when not to, especially when Dala is not your friend, friend like that. Mm. And then you stand there and you are looking at, or as an adult, even mm. as, you know, children can even be looking at you as you're eating and you're like, this is bad. Did they not train this child well? Mm -hmm. So there are so many things that I think people do. They get carried away and they really do not know how to behave in certain places. Mm. You know, you can even still be in your house and be talking loudly and you're actually making your neighbors uncomfortable. Constituting but a nuisance. in Nigeria, you'd say, it is my house. Yeah. But you know, abroad, you cannot try it. Hmm. So how do I feel about this? I think the problem, naturally, naturally, Nigerians do not have, um, they're not trained to respect. I'll be listening to you as I go. Yes, 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 I'll be loud. <laughs> you say I'll be loud. <laughs> don't be a nuisance, darling. <laughs> I'll be loud, yeah. So um, we don't know how to respect spaces. Mm -hmm. Out here, that's what I realized. When spaces is like your house, Respect your friend's house. It's not your house. Yeah. It's your friend's house. So respect your neighbor mm. in the sense that you, you're in an estate or wherever you are, a compound. You cannot inconvenience your neighbor <sighs> because you want to have a party. <sighs> Do you understand? So mm. it, everything boils down to the smallest unit, which is the family unit. Yes, it right? is from there. Yeah, it starts from there. So that's why it's always, they always say it's right to give everybody their rooms and spaces. Res yes. Even as a parent, you need to respect your, your child's yes. space. Yes. Knock on your child's door before you enter into your child's room. Mm. Am I not paying your school? Nine, nine no, no, no. Nigerian parents it's, in the mud. <laughs> They just, just left that group. They just left because that group. Because it's what they see. It's what the kids see. That's what they emulate. Actually, and they will grow up like that, not respecting yeah. other people's spaces. So they need to be able to respect. Respect your child's space. Know that they are also they are, they are going to be adults one day. Mm -hmm. And you need them to also respect other people's space. So that's why someone will come outside and you will be making a phone call and the whole street can hear his phone call, his conversation. That's, that's for me, is, mm. is one of the... It, it itches me. It makes me cry. I think people think, especially if the person is like the landlord. I've seen somebody before and the person says, I'm the owner of my house. And you think it comes with affluence. I think you're not just educated or learned to yeah. a very large extent. Uh, there are things that we shouldn't be caught doing. I think to coexist with other people, you should learn how to behave. Mm -hmm. So you might not be 100 but we should just try so that other people will not be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So please, uh, say no to bad behavior. And uh, when I'm talking on the phone, please, uh, I don't want to hear from the next streets how your exactly. girlfriend or your boyfriend, so, like, because I'll now finish the gist because, like, you now maybe go, then I'm like, ah, that gist would have been sweet. Make a, you can't understand? go like, call up. Bro, is uh, that your phone call? That, 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 how far are you? <laughs> Especially when other people are being considerate <laughs> and you are not. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, getting right to it, it's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. Yes, we told you that Idris Abdul Karim undergoes successful surgery. Yes, and Top Gun Maverick surpasses Marvel's Avengers at the box office. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will be back. Am I shouting? No, <laughs> you're, you're not loud. You're not loud. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. When you hear Terry G, right? Yeah, like I don't know how I feel seeing Terry G again. Like this version of Terry G. This version of Terry G. Yeah, is I feel different. The same but, I feel but there is no how. Even if you're not watching TV, you're asking questions like, "Who did that song?" Like that sounds like. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So me, I think I, I love the Terry G of Free Madness era. 
When you say, <laughs> uh, uh, so the like thing the is, you have to energy, move with time. But yeah, things are evolving. Yeah. Uh, there is something in vogue at the moment. Mm -hmm. So if you do not go with that vibe, and then you still continue to do your thing and dwell in the past and yes, your... Yes, but then the thing is, when you were doing your, your you have thing... your style. When you were doing your thing that was your own thing, mm -hmm. nobody was giving that madness vibe. This thing that you said. You get, Interesting, like, but one thing again is that people go with what is on ground. There was a time that it was loud, um, very high tempo. Mm -hmm. And then it came to the mid-tempo. If you really want to do your thing... <laughs> You have to be because the people we have now have no cheap heels. Okay. They so move on easily. They no, forget people easily. No disrespect to Nigerian artists who are honing their crafts. But we don't what we don't have in this industry is longevity. Yeah. Right? And that's what the Americans have been able to do and they are still doing. John Legend is still there. Beyonce is still See, there. This, All these guys this are talk still there. long. This one that's going <laughs> to start. Yeah. <laughs> All one long. person, one person who has been able to do that from the beginning of his career till now is Two Face. Yeah. Two Face will drop his song today and we will still jam it. And it will still go. Yeah. All right, this one as we have digressed. It is still <laughs> Movies Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we know that several actors are known by their pseudonyms and stage names, especially in Nigeria. And to an extent, that has become part of their identity. In the Nollywood industry, most actors require or acquire their nicknames from the roles that they have played in movies that have fascinated their viewers. And it became unforgettable. Some of these names were adopted at the early stages of their career. And this has somehow stuck with them to the extent that several fans don't even know their real name, what their real names are today. Today, let's talk about five Nollywood actors that got their names from a movie character. Because this is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. It's where Jepo turns every, every break every time to, I hear that. to dance party because... Anyway, number one on our list, we have Mr. Ibu. Mr. Ibu is a well-known comic actor who has featured in several movies alongside other notable comic actors in the movie industry. The veteran actor's nickname is even more popular than his real name. He, however, got the nickname after his lead role in the movie Mr. Ibu and Mr. Ibu in London. His real name, however, is John Ikejuku Okafo. I bet some of you didn't know that. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember <laughs> his real name. It's just Mr. Ibu, Mr. Ibu. Yeah. I'm sure, wait, yeah. what's the social media handle? It's not his real name. <laughs> uh, his social and media handle is not his real it's, name. I think he's something like long Mr. Ibu, but you have to get it. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah. just like this guy, um, Mr. Bean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so for some reason, I don't know why I know that his name is Rowan Atkins, but like, yeah, Mr. Bean is just like, every it's movie I see him, that's not even a Mr. Bean movie. I'm like, oh, I see Mr. Bean. Uh, but really, yeah. uh, have you met Mr. Ibu? Why? He's, he's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know how some comedians come to you and then you even want to interview them and they want to be serious, serious all yeah. of a sudden because they just don't want that comedian thingy to be yeah. every time. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ibu is not like that. So you are even talking to him and it is a serious thing and you're looking at him like this and you don't know whether <laughs> it's a joke, his response is a joke or he's being serious. So yes, Mr. Ibu, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how much he has brought that character uh, yes. to life. life. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's check out number two is Saka. Popularly known for his comic roles, and at the mention of the name Saka, lovers of Nigeria TV ads and movies will burst into laughter, as his nickname has since become a household name. However, only a few know that Afis Oyetoro got his nickname from his role as simply Saka in a Greg Odutayo produced sitcom, House Apart. It seems somehow the name Saka even suits him better. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if not for the fact that, you know, I, like we do TV and uh, we have to interview them and do research and all that, I would think his name was Saka. Oh, I would never have thought because <laughs> he's a lecturer too. Yeah. yeah. And I learned that when he's lecturing, mm -hmm. he focuses. So even if you're a student and you want to be bringing because Saka into yeah. the classroom, yeah. hmm, it yeah. changes it for you. So, yeah. And I've spoken with him before. I, I get it, but I know that his name is Afis Eitoro. <laughs> but it's Saka that's There's nothing else that will come to your mind. <laughs> that's a oh him I'm God, ready to die on. Saka. <laughs> well, Saka. You, you know, you mentioned him being a lecturer, and that's, mm -hmm. that's an amazing part of, like, knowing yeah. that someone... Sorry, sorry, sir. 
you're not stupid, but he asked so many, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that someone like that can actually, actually be a scholar. Be, yeah. mm. It's actually amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I absolutely love him. All right, another person on our list as we have uh, given name by force. Mama G. <laughs> All right, so Patience Ozokwa is a legendary actress who has been in the Nigerian movie industry for over two decades. She is nicknamed Mama G, and the G stands for General, which seems unforgettable to many Nigerians who grew up watching her. The nickname was given to her because of her constant role as a villain and strong characters in Nollywood movies. And if we cannot remember Mama G, you say... Uh, th that uh, mother-in-law with witchcraft. With witchcraft. That's always <laughs> wicked. <laughs> wicked. Once you mention yeah. the word wicked. Yes, it's her, word. yes. Yeah, so I think it's a very befitting name for her because it's she, <laughs> like she. <laughs> wicked. No, Mama G. Oh, wow. Yes, now Mama General. <laughs> okay. what's, what's your handle again, your Instagram? And you said, Dala, or, yeah. I'm not, I've deleted my account. <laughs> But yeah, I think Mama G suits her because she's always that person that's in charge. Like, I'm coming to your house, come and yeah. destroy things. Yeah. Like, she just... <laughs> but the, the thing about Nigerian viewers, audience, is that they stereotype you once they see you and in that then, role. Yes, and then again, when they meet you in real life, they don't want to take you away from the character. Yeah, so they yes. want to... And I think it's they very wrong. wicked in it, real life. Yeah, no, so I think it's very wrong. So I think somebody was talking about it. I think it was Eniola Badmos who was saying that because you have seen me act or Mogeto or something yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you see me and then you start doing... And I'm serious. I'm facing some... Maybe you, I'm at the bank. I'm writing and then you just see me and I'm startled and I'm looking at you and then you just want me to come into character and you're saying, oh, she's so proud. She's not even getting into character. No, don't do that. That one is, that one is okay. This big brother alone. What we have seen with our eyes. Ah, <laughs> don't do that. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what we have seen. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's move on. And this one is a very, very popular household name. It's Aki and Popo at number four. Chinedu Ikedieze, who is popularly you know, who is popularly called Aki, and Osita Iheme, popularly called Popo, became a household name after the roles in the 2002 comedy movie Aki Naokwa. The movie also happened to be their debut, which ended up being one of their best ever projects. Their characters in the movie have since then been their nicknames and is far more recognized than their actual names. Yeah, so... Um, that I one think, stuck. Uh, no, <laughs> see, that, that one did not have a choice but to stick. Aki. And it's very Apopo. sweet to say Aki and Popo. Aki and Popo. Aki and like, Popo. oh, do you know Chinidu Kedi is it? You say who? Oh. <laughs> who is that? As As I, I, mean, fact, I mix their names sometimes. I used to, I used to. You used so, to mix, yeah, their real names. So, yes. Yeah. So, mm -mm. so just give me Aki. Aki and um, Popo. Popo. We know which one is which. I think What's... they did a new movie. Of... Yeah. yeah, they did a remake of the Aki and Popo, but it's still that legendary. That Aki it's some look Shout out legendary. to them. Uh, Popo was here um, a while ago on the show. Yeah, yeah on the show. Yeah. Ah. Being very Where serious. Did you see it? Who carried him? Um, J. Paul, Mr. Flint. <laughs> No, no. All right, let me just... I just detach myself from Let me just dive to... He that. actually watches this show. Let me... He does. Yes. Let me dive... No, let joking. me dive to number five. <laughs> All right, this one, absolutely no surprises here, or Sophia. Inkem Owa is at number five, and he's well known by many Nigerians by his nickname, O Sophia. The veteran actor got the nickname after playing the lead character in the 2003 movie, O Sophia, in London. The movie is also one of the best selling Nollywood movies of all time. The movie made him more popular as well as giving him a ground in the movie industry. Almost two decades after the release of the movie, he's still referred to as O Sophia by many which goes to show that the name is unforgettable. Some don't even know his actual name, which is Inkem Owa. True. Yeah. True Sophia yes. in London. In, in fact, yes. it's not even just Sophia. We have to call it with you in London. <laughs> so it's not, it's not Sophia in London. I'm Wait, like, with his back. With, so he also, aside even having the name, he now had that iconic suits, outfits. Yes, with the cap. Up, <laughs> with the Ghana must But go I with. think that Sophia is that person that you don't want to see in real life to be messing with and be joking at <laughs> Are you serious? I, I, I think so. I, I think I because think I've that watched means. an interview. Gosh, I almost entered the wall <laughs> for the person who was interviewing or Sophia. So he wanted to be taken seriously. Oh really? Actually. 
Oh, I, I, think, I, don't, I, I think I was driving and I was listening to a radio station and they were into I wanted to enter my chair for that person. <laughs> you know, was it, wasn't that it, wasn't like, it wasn't having it. Maybe he had a bad day. <laughs> fun, fun fact. I, I know he's been in the industry before that movie or Sophia came out. He's been mm -hmm. there for a long time. But of course, of course. that was the first time I got introduced to the personality in Kemal War on TV. Yeah. And I can't think anything else but that movie when I hear or Sophia. Yeah. And then... It, it was directed by Kinsley Ogoro, I remember, and the shot, it's a fantastic piece. The story, the shoot, style of shoot, it's a very fantastic movie. If you go back and watch it, it will still feel like they just shot it. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting the production stuff. was actually... But good. it's the way some local FA did not, like, yeah, I'm just bringing that, like, that is, like, I'm just talking outside the little yeah. right now. Did not, some local FA was, like, and then people still called him some local Sorry. And then it was... <laughs> you know... When she said Sam Lukwe, if I just remember that, but if, if Miss um, Sasam, let Sasam look if he saw you now, he would just say, I want to harvest you. I want to harvest you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll just say that these people are actually very lucky to yeah. have names that don't sound so bad. Because yeah. imagine that you act a role and you didn't particularly like the name. Everybody now loved the thing. They now started calling you one hebre, 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 like, like, it's not my name. Okay. But I like how everybody has been able to like just come to the terms of the but fact that this is what people want to call you. Oh, so I don't know. <laughs> all right, now, that's all we can take on Daily Top 5, of course. <laughs> so that is it on our Daily Top 5. Up next is What Are You Watching? Stay here with us. Ah, free tickets, long more. So it's for you. Like, you like free tickets. Free tickets. Ticket. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. At the start of the show, we told you guys that we had something very special for you. So if you have stayed tuned up till this point, you are the real MVP and we got something for you. All right, so today, like last week, we have free cinema tickets to give out to watch any movie of your choice, courtesy Biggie and Silverbird Cinemas. Now, the coolest thing about these tickets is that you also stand the chance to win exciting prizes if you participate in the raffle draw. So if if you watched the show last week, Tuesday, call in to tell us the movie or TV series J. Paul, Catherine and I talked about and the cinema ticket is all yours, you get. You can do so while also, while also telling us about what it is you are watching, okay? So what did you watch recently? Uh, what are you watching at the moment? Would really like to get into your thoughts. Share with mm -hmm. us. Uh, Keep us uh, up to date so that, um, you know, you can just be suggesting to us. Thank you. We love it every yes. time. Yes, go. I absolutely love how they literally need to do nothing to win tickets. Like, Actually, just, just tell just us what... Having fun. And told you. Yeah. tell us like, what we said last week. Uh, but should we be asking them questions like 6 million times 448 no, times? No, like... it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're not wicked. Questions <laughs> that you don't even have answers to. <laughs> I know we can. <laughs> Shot fire. Leave yes. All right. So let's get on Facebook and we're starting with Flawless Blaze, who is actually always blazing red hot right here. <laughs> okay. I watched Top Gun Maverick after more than 30 years of service as one of the Navy's top aviators. Uh, Pete Maverick is tasked with training a detachment of graduates for a special assignment. Maverick must confront the ghost of his past and his deepest fears, uh, culminating in a mission that demands the ultimate sacrifice from those who chose, or I mean, who choose to fly it. It's actually worth the hype. I'm rating it 9 over 10. Um, and yes, Dala is right. Encanto is extremely overrated. Thank you. Probably uh, the most overrated Disney movie of all time. Thank when you. the movie ended, I was like, is that all? Even Thank the soundtracks are overrated compared to the ones from uh, Mohana or Frozen. Okay, uh, so uh, different strokes for different. My God, he say good God. Yeah. Because I I'm think vindicated. I, I, I because think, no, no, no. So I totally understand people, uh, you know, taking different, um, you know, uh, sides like that. Because um, you see, there was a day um, Catherine came here and told us the movie she watched, and Jepal and I don't even find it interesting at all. And somebody called and said they were disappointed in me for not liking it. <laughs> all right, so we have somebody Shots from fired. calling. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Charles. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Charles, how are you doing? <laughs> this is very really nice. You have to turn down the volume on your TV set. Okay, okay, okay. It's not done, actually. 
Charles, Charles, please turn down the volume. We'll not be able to continue, said, so actually. So that we can have a conversation with you. Are you still there? Oh, right, oh Charles is gone, Charles Sally. Is gone. Um, do you still want to take more on Facebook? All right, so yes, let's just move on. Sweetheart here says, Alchemy of Souls on Netflix. I so much love that Korean series. I will rate it 10 over 10. And so there are responses right here. And uh, somebody says, wow, is the movie interesting? I have it on my phone, but I have not watched it. How you have it on your phone? <laughs> yeah, it happens. Wow. All right, so Debbie Beatrice here says, me, I'm not watching anything. No, I just be at um, Chilantro for almost all my day. Love you guys. Which one? Chilantro. Chilantro. Okay. So, Get it, chill. Yeah, chill. Chill. All right. <laughs> I like Ben Miriam Oluwajimoke here says, my classmates are from far, far away. I'll rate it 9 over 10. It is a Chinese movie because I'm like, are you hailing somebody? <laughs> my classmate. From, from far, far, far. Is that the title of the movie? Oh, wow. Could, could from far, yeah. far away. Yeah. <laughs> They're crazy movie that I mean. Uh, it sounds like Nigerian. All of us are dead. Are <laughs> far, far away. Okay. Yeah. All right. So still on Facebook, we have Rachel and Nathaniel uh, saying, Hi, good afternoon, beautiful and sexy Dala. Honey Pots and J. Paul, I love your show. Keep it up. Thank you. But you don't tell us the movie that you were watching. Guys, always tell us the movie you're watching. Give us your ratings. Let us know what happened, actors in the movie, because we just might want to see it. All right, we have Mike Mira saying, I'm currently watching The K2. It's a Korean movie, and I'll rate it 7 over 10. Ah, you did not tell us what it's about. You did not tell us people in the movie. How do you want me to go and be looking for K2? K2? <laughs> Unless it's K2. What stop? Uh, as it's spelled. No, it's K2. It's a Korean movie, but oh. there can be K2. <laughs> so, sorry. That's what I heard. That can actually be K2, and K it will not be Nigerian. K and I'm saying, K wow. <laughs> like Lola. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Lola. <laughs> All right, so we have Miracle here saying, good day, East Splashers. You all look wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. I recently watched The Black Phone. It's a horror movie, rating it 8 over 10. Now, horror movie, you've gotten my attention. The Black Phone, okay. What happened? <laughs> Please be explaining your movies. Thank you. Um, Oath Neil is saying, I'm currently watching Bel Air, an American series. The movies is lit. I will rate it 10 over 10. Bel Air? Bel Air is a... Um... I think it's so if they had explained it in, would okay, have known. so would have known. Yes. We'll, we'll think that it is yeah. some Will Smith. Yeah, because there won't be another team. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, J. Paul, do you want to go? Oh, yes. I saw. Um, we, we have, have a, a call from Lagos. Esther from Lagos, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Esther, Ooh, sound wow. more Ooh. excited now. Esther, how are you? I'm fine. So you know what? <laughs> I would respond like that because you said, Esther, how are you? Oh, you yeah, said, yeah. sound excited. Oh, yeah, you say, sound excited. Esther, how Esther, are you? Esther, how fun are I'm fine. Ah. <laughs> 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 Esther, <laughs> Esther is on it. Ah. Wow. She's on oh. it. Oh. <laughs> All right, Esther. Thank you so much for calling in. Would you like to win one of our movie tickets today? Yes, I will. All right. So can you tell us um, a movie that either J. Paul, Honey Pot, or Lady Cat watched last week? Okay. J. Paul watched The Grey Man. Okay. Then Honey Pot watched Lockdown. Okay. And Catherine watched Continuous. All right, all right, all right. It's the fact that you knew all three for me. No, no, Love I'm it. not sure yet. Um, <laughs> we will, we will, sure. we, we'll, we'll let you know yeah. if you um, have won one of these tickets. But thank you so much thank for calling. You, and do you want to tell us about your movie that you recently um, watched? No, not really. Oh, wow. All you right. Thank you so much. You came here for your Sam. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, and God bless you for the phone call. <laughs> all right. So let me take um, some yes. Twitter comments. Yes. Um, yes. Kali Paka, a regular guy. Paka <laughs> is always with correct movies. Yeah. So he says, good day, gang. I'm currently watching Cheaper by the Dozen, an American family comedy film about two parents attempting to navigate their hectic home life as they juggle raising 10 children from several different marriages with their breakfast food restaurant. I'll rate it 8 over 10. We okay. have another caller, don't we? I Hello. think we do. Yes. Hello, good afternoon again. Ah, Charles, you're back. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I do. I'm fine now. It's in the soap. Oh, my that's the deal. It's just me. I hear your voice. Don't see. Normal level. Normal <laughs> level. Okay, so do you want to win the ticket or you want to tell us about your movie, the movie you're currently watching? I, I actually do want to win the ticket. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. So what movie did myself, Honeypot, and Lady Cat were, um, reviewed last week? What part of what movie did you review last week? Yes. yes. 
The movie Every from last week. Movies. Three movies that they saw so last week. Mention the movie that you think we reviewed last week. Okay, okay. You know, then, then can I get it part of the next time I'm jotting down the movies, I promise. Okay. Charles, you are fine. I'll give you tickets now. Ah. <laughs> yeah. ah. You know, go feel win ticket to. Ah. Ah, Charles is gone. Oh, Charles, 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 Charles. Yesterday is gone. <laughs> <laughs> and to think that, and to think that. Charles called earlier, yes. called again, and could not even, like, that time when you called the first time, you would quickly go and look for yes. maybe an origin somewhere. And then, Charles, you have phone you. But you, you, you know why, um, you know why I like Charles? It's it was just a dedication laughter. for me. Yes. Laughter to do. <laughs> and uh, for the record, this is exactly why we put up the videos of the show on YouTube. On YouTube. When you check them out, you would literally know the answer. This is me giving you expo. Yes, that's As okay. the person that has to change results, that yeah, I'm giving you expo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's something you can do to find out the movies, but mm -mm, you will not hear it from me. J4. All Twitter. right. We still have more comments <laughs> from Twitter. Um, this is from Akoni Are at uh, on, um, Basit underscore Are. He says, hi, Onipot and the guys. <laughs> Are you funny? I'm currently watching. <laughs> You're a slap. You're both, Alexis. <laughs> I'm currently watching. No, Dala watching. is not a guy. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Are you joking? I'm currently watching Iojima, uh, a Korean series, a little gum who rose from... Humble beginnings to rob from the rich and fight for the poor while on a mission for revenge, the death of his father, who was killed by some corrupt leaders. I will rate it 9 over 10. Okay, thank you, Akoni. And the girls. <laughs> <laughs> all of the queens. This one is another. Um, Slimani says, all of the queens, men. Uh, have you seen that? No. Oh, never seen, but that's oh. all he wrote. Okay, well, we have the color. Here. From Joss. Hi, Kennedy. Hi, Kennedy. It's energy. Energy. <laughs> it is yeah. energy for me. All right. <laughs> yeah, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. I really love the show, and I just call to check up on you guys. I said, I don't have the time. If we need any ticket, so I just call. Oh, wow. Oh. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank uh, you. Unfortunately, you can't win any of these tickets. So you because you're in Joss, except you want to come to Lagos and watch the movie and then travel back back to Joss. <laughs> because when we think yeah. about the flight tickets right now, ah. what's the fee is talking about? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Kennedy, what know. movie did you watch recently? Energy, energy, mm, top boy, top boy, top boy, top boy. Okay, Top Gun, Top All Boy. Right. I yeah. thought I top heard Obong, Top Boy. Top Boy, yeah, Top yeah. Boy. Yeah, it's a UK movie. Oh, that's the yeah, 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 UK remember. one from like Peckham, yeah? Yeah, yeah I remember. <laughs> so tell us about it. What do you like about it and how would you rate it? Yeah, I really love the way, the way they speak the English, you know, UK. Yeah. The English is kind of, yeah, it's kind of accent that they, that they speak like that. Oh, wow. How would you rate it? Over 10. Oh, maybe, let me see, eight, eight point. Five. All right. Eight Thank you five. so much, Kennedy. Riding. I said energy. And energy. Oh, wow. You're not getting the moon right. Oh, thank you. All right. So Thank yes. you so much, Kennedy. Thank you indeed. All right. So the winner of our ticket today yes. is Esther, right? Esther! Ladies and Woo! gentlemen, one and three. Esther just won this and she mentioned the gray man. Yes. Mentioned Lockdown Ooh. and Spontaneous. Catherine watched for Spontaneous. Good. All right, I want to say thank you to everybody who took out time to send us messages on Twitter and on Facebook, even if we're not able to read. Okay, so we're going to be checking them out, and I'm sure other people will see it. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you, okay? All right, so it is time for us to pack our things and go. So it's pack our things. Why you mean? Only why pots. Mean? Only pot, why? Oh, yeah, let's be packing. Be, be sweet with you. Pack your things now. I mean, you know, I don't go home. <laughs> All right, thank we you did. so much, guys, for watching. We really appreciate you. 
you know, you are like uh, grains of sweet jollof rice on our bowls. Uh, you know, um, we just love you. Like the jollof rice that they use, uh, you know, wood to cook. Uh -uh. Uh, it, it, it's so <laughs> wonderful. Hello, Thank you. Hello, Yabola. Only pot wants jollof rice. Uh, we will see you tomorrow <laughs> for the top 10 countdown. Let's go. Bye. On behalf of the